Let's find out how well my homemade toothpaste will clean my stained teeth. Welcome to Dental Digest and let's get going. In today's episode, we're making some homemade toothpaste, so let's get cooking. So I ran over to the store real quick and I bought some stuff that I thought would make some good toothpaste, so let me show you guys what I bought. Starting off on the list, I got this really weird stuff. It's called Benoate clay. Essentially, this stuff is really great for your skin. It helps clean your pores, but I also found it in a lot of like natural toothpaste. And the reason why natural toothpaste have Benoate clay added to it is because it's an abrasive. So toothpaste have abrasives added to them. And essentially what they do is they're gonna scrub the plaque off your teeth and make them nice and shiny and clean. Next on the list is the, I, I went downstairs and I found this down there. We have coconut oil. The, this is very common. A lot of people use coconut oil for whitening and oil pulling. I'll speak about that in a future video, but according to the ADA, American Dental Association, there is no research out there that supports the claims that coconut oil helps whiten your teeth. Some beneficial factors of coconut oil is it does help fight off bacteria and it's so and it also helps fight off against plaque so I'm gonna add some of this to our little homemade toothpaste concoction next we got salt pink Himalayan like nice and coarse salt this is also gonna help be uh, act as an abrasive scraping away all the plaque off it's also gonna help with inflammation the salt water will help reduce that inflammation so that's why I got some of this I and mean, it's gonna act as an abrasive and also help with the gum redness I don't I really have red gums because I floss every day and I know you guys do also but if you guys need something to help with your red puffy gums salt water warm salt water rinse is a great answer next can't go wrong with baking soda so the purpose of adding baking soda or also known as sodium bicarbonate is it is a basic compound basic meaning it's gonna neutralize any acids inside of our mouth the reason why we don't want an acidic environment in our mouth acids dissolve our enamel and we want to strengthen up our mouth and prevent any acids from dissolving our teeth so I'm gonna add some baking soda next we gotta add a little bit of flavor flavor we're gonna and I bought some peppermint extract so let's add some of that give it a little normal toothpaste vibe and lastly just to kind of make it a little bit like normal toothpaste consistency I got some I got some like slightly warm water because it's gonna be pretty thick right now with just what we have here so let's get cooking let's just get a nice Big scoop of that. Put that right in the middle. Next, we're gonna add. We're gonna add ten drops of this peppermint leaf extract. We want this nice and minty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more for good luck. <laughs> smells. Smells like your skin. Smells pretty good. So this coconut oil right now is a solid, but the melting point of coconut oil is very low. So I just went and warmed up some coconut oil. Now we're just gonna scoop up some of that coconut oil. One tablespoon should be enough and then just kind of pour that in there. Looks good. Next, we're gonna add the baking soda. I'm gonna do half a scoop right in the center. And lastly, some salt. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a spatula so we can mix this up. Got my spatula, let's get mixing. We'll slowly add in some water, fold it over. Let me know if you guys have ever made homemade toothpaste and if you guys have, what, what did you guys include in it? Uh, this is my first time ever making toothpaste. Didn't really do too much research on it. I kind of wanted to keep it original. I just kind of used my knowledge of what other toothpaste have. So let's get that in. It's smelling really good. It smells like peppermint. So a lot of toothpaste also have sweeteners added, added to it. But if I were to add a sweetener, because this is going to taste a little bland and bitter, um, and minty, but if I were to add a sweetener, I'd add xylitol. I couldn't find any. But if you guys really want to make some really good homemade toothpaste, it's just looking like mud. I would add xylitol. What do you guys think? What would you guys do differently? It just looks... It, it's looking like... Kind of like frosting. Ooh. Fanning this out and just kind of folding it over on top of itself until it's at like a nice smooth whipped consistency. I feel like you guys ever see like those like rolling ice cream places where they just like spread that ice cream like really thin and then they they just kind of like roll it up real nice. Oof, that's some satisfying stuff. Let me give you guys a look. I think that's that's basically toothpaste quality. So. 
Now that we got the toothpaste made, I got some disclosing tablets. I'm gonna crunch these bad boys up, seeing how much plaque I have on my teeth, and then we're gonna do a little before and after results. We're gonna see how well this toothpaste works and also how well I brush. I'll give you guys a nice little voiceover commentary as I'm brushing, so let's jump right into that brushing. Now that we finished making it, let's take a look at how well it actually cleaned my teeth. Let's find out how well my homemade toothpaste will clean my stained teeth. It's disclosing time. Let's check the before results. I'm gonna be using one of my favorite toothbrushes, the Cura Crocs. Fat glob. If you guys wanna see how I made the toothpaste, check out my YouTube channel. Let's get brushing. It starts off pretty nasty, but slowly it gets did. better as you keep brushing. My homemade toothpaste didn't taste too bad, but it's definitely not replacing my normal toothpaste. No Let's way. check the after results. That cleaned surprisingly good. My homemade toothpaste actually worked. It tasted gross, but it was pretty fun to make. Yep. So let me give you guys a little analysis of my experience as I was brushing. So I think where I messed up was adding the salt. The salt just ended up dissolving right away into the mixture and then just left the toothpaste with a really salty flavor and that's why it started off really gross. The Benoit clay really cleaned my teeth well. It was a good abrasive, scrubbed my teeth really well. It left me with a nice polish. I didn't mind the color of the toothpaste but I think it would have been a cooler idea if I added some food coloring to give it like a green or a purple color. Um, maybe next time. Thank you guys for watching today's episode and also thank you guys for helping me get over 5,000 subscribers. It means a lot to me. We're growing so fast and it's so exciting. I can't wait to put out more content this year. Make sure to stick around, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, smile on. Ciao.